Aren't you forgetting something? Birthday hug? Okay, um, I think I know what's happening here. Uh, Robert said you heard us having a moment. Is that what you call it? You flirting with him when you know he's with Aaron? How sad is that? I wasn't flirting. I was just trying to clear the air. <sighs> from when you were sleeping with him? Those times when he used to pick me up from yours. Did you have sex then? I was just too stupid to notice. No! It was hardly ever. Robert used me. It's what he's like. He was never going to be faithful to your mum. Your sister. And they were engaged. And you just let her go ahead with it. I couldn't tell her. She'd have hated me. I hated myself. That's why I went away. Because I felt so ashamed. So when you were all over him at the scrapyard? That was just for old time's sake. But that was nothing. Don't tell her, please. Or we'll fall out of something that happened ages ago, and, and she really needs a friend right now. A bit late for that. I'll make it up to her, I swear. And without her ever knowing, I am begging you, Lucky, don't let that slime will destroy her life twice over. Here she is, the birthday girl. I take it Lucky's looking after you. Perfect nephew, as always. Neil. Neil, can you hear me? Oh, stupid locum's lost somewhere. What vet turns up with no sat-nav? Morning, Johnny. <sighs> Mummy sounds stressed. Uh, yes, uh, I'm just trying to get a hold of him now, Mr Collins. If you just clear the line and I will call you as soon as. Yeah, OK, bye-bye. Oh, it's a breach carving. Ron's only been in hospital two minutes and I'm having a nightmare already. How is she? Well, I was just about to ring and find out, but now I'm going to have to drag Paddy away from her bedside. Well, you can cover, can't you? What, with Johnny in tow? Oh, yeah, I'll just stick him in his rocker while I do an emergency caesarean. Well, I can have him. Uh, you? Well, I'm here to help you, Tina. Don't call me that. Look, cow surgery is not my thing, but I can entertain my grandson for a couple of hours. <sighs> right, well, his milk's in the fridge and don't let him suck the rug. It's just this thing he's started doing. Roger, go. Go <laughs> <Hi>. to <Mr>. Grandad. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> so, little chap. How are you and me going to spend our quality time, hmm? Telly? Toys? What's that you say? Ah! You want to go down the pub? You can have your card first, present later. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I know we don't do cringe, but it's 30 years' worth in one go, so... <clears throat> you can kid the world, but not your sister. It's not cringe, it's lovely. I've missed you so much. Well, you could have waited for me. Many happy returns, my darling. Uh, is that today's? Yes, but there's nothing for you, unless you've given out this address. <laughs> of course not. Just a birthday reflex. Stupid. Ooh. Wrapping's a bit rubbish. It's not another dried-up frog. <laughs> you collected <laughs> frogs. Cuddly toys, not roadkill. I thought it showed great imagination for a five-year-old. Sad. Smartphone projector. You plug your phone in and it shows your photos. Like back in the days. <sighs> that is such a thoughtful present. Thank you. And <clears throat> I haven't had my hug yet, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how are you bearing up? Did you uh, manage to get any sleep? Oh, bless. You look really. What? Like someone died. Mom, I told you you don't need to do that. Hey. There's a, there's a sandwich on the side. Why don't you want to try and eat, hey? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know if it took him or not. Look, I won't be offended if you tell me to get lost. Don't be daft. Come on, it's Nana Barton. Hey, Nana, it's Pete. No, no, we don't know what we're doing about the funeral yet. Ross, Ross, leave it. Leave what? Well, he doesn't think Dad falling was an accident. Yeah, I'm not the only one. Cheers to this, love. I really thought we'd be doing veggie bangers today. Oh, 
People still need to eat. How's Adam? Uh, well, it's hard to say. He's shut down. Victoria will look after him. It's you I'm worried about. Can I have a five for my dinner? Yeah, sure. If you can say it in French. Fine, I'll go to bed Marlon for some burnt chips out the fryer. Oh, please. Stop being such a drama queen, or we will forget to come back and get you. All right, go on. How very sensitive is that? That's nowhere to reassure the lad, is it? It's the reaction he wants, and I'm not giving in to him. No, I just... Ken Dingle. What are you doing on your own? Just reminiscing, contemplating life. When am I going to get my present? When I decide. Is everything OK between you and Dad? What do you mean? After the shooting you never told me about. It's like you're both trying a bit too hard. Oh, you know, Daddy hates being a victim. He's probably just embarrassed. Right, well, I'm going to go and ping a couple of work emails and then I'm all yours. So I was thinking we could have lunch at the pub and come back here for chilling and beautification before cocktails tonight. Sounds awesome. Coming to check on you. Vanessa texted me to say you were minding Johnny. That's no checking necessary. Little chap's not giving me any bother at all. Oh, yeah, they do that, yeah. Lull you into a false sense of security. Then when your back's turned, <laughs> poo up the walls. Well, he'll be used to that from prison. Pearl. You do know that Johnny is still in his gym jams. <sighs> Look who it is. Lady Liza. Oh, no offense, Johnny, but you need a clean nappy before you come any further. Uh, and it looks like Grandad hasn't got any equipment. Yeah, living dangerously, that's how we like to roll. <sighs> we should make this a regular meet-up. How about a play date tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Eliza quite likes the company of Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just answer the question, Mr Dingle. Sure you don't want to do this in private? I wasn't even there at the crash. We're not accusing anyone. Well, I'd hate to see you in interrogation mode, then. We have information that suggests someone was with James Barton on the bridge at the time of his fall. Uh, let me guess. Uh, I know that you've already tried to kill my dad. It wasn't like that. You should have had your nick for it then. Or did you threaten him to keep his gob shut? No. Talk to us about this altercation you had with Mr Barton. And the award for best present goes to me. Your wife and Mr Barton had history, didn't they? You seem to know everything. Were you threatened by that? By a cow whispering farmer? Wipe the floor with James. God rest his soul. Why are you even here, Charity? It's none of your business. Cain didn't want to kill him. He, he tried to run him off the road, but it was just some stupid macho thing. James was never in any danger. We'll need to take a statement. I was nowhere near the crash. One of your lot pulled me over. See for yourself. Be useful if you'd shown us this in the first place. What, is that it? If Mr. Dingle's alibi checks out. Many happy returns. Oh. <laughs> Drink? 
Can't say no on my birthday. I've come to get Aaron some fresh clothes, so... Boo. But all the more for us, then. <clears throat> Go on. If anyone looks over, I'll cause a diversion. Prove your mates again. Bex, this is Ronnie. He's been working for us at Treetops. And a total ledge, from what I heard. I don't know about that, but happy birthday, love. Oh! <laughs> I would like to say a few words. Oh, you really don't have to. No, no, you have to indulge me, seeing as you're actually here, not tweeting us from some obscure music festival in Acapulco or somewhere. <laughs> um, seeing as we're having a bit of a cringe fest, I've got these. Now, I admit it's a bit of a shared present because there's two. I get one too, and if you look, it says sisters. Oh, <laughs> nothing wrong with sharing, is there, Annabex? Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I've never taken it off. <laughs> Even when you're in bed with your boyfriend. Lucky? That's rather inappropriate. <laughs> me? Inappropriate? This whole sisters act makes me sick. She's a two faced witch. What? She was sleeping with Robert. He was cheating on you. joke or a prank or something. I mean, you two were as bad as each other. She was having an affair. She admitted it. It wasn't anything she like that. She tried to make it out like it was all Robert's fault. That she came back to make it up to you. Oh, and that was a lie. Well, why'd you rip up Mum's card? What? Well, I found it in the fire. I'm sure Lucky's got his wires crossed. Go on. Ask him. Ask him what? Nothing, love. Go and get your tea in the cash. You're not even trying to deny it. Ow! How's that for a birthday present? What are you hiding now? Nothing. Aaron knows, OK? Ooh. Ow! <sighs> I'm off before I give both of them a slap. I always knew that you were a bitter, jealous airhead, but to try and steal my boyfriend. Oh, your boyfriend who left you for a bloke. He never loved you, Chrissy. Well, can we continue this discussion at home? No, please, carry on. Thanks for this, Robert. Can you give me a list of all your exes so I can ban them in advance? Sort your daughters out, Lawrence. Come on, Rebecca. Time yeah. to go. It's OK, Ronnie. I can take it from here. Come on. I thought you said you were going to shut him up. Well, at least I don't have to fake it anymore. Hey. You OK? Because you were uh, talking, you know, rambling. I kept checking in on you, but you were, uh, you were Sparkers. What was I saying? Uh, James. I'm sorry. I don't know stuff like that. Thinking about him going over. It's such a horrible weight. We just have to think about his life, though. Not until then, he was happy. Yeah. We're all going through this, okay? But you're not on your own. We were thinking of him um, getting his things from the farm. Uh, no, no, I'll do it. That's, um, that's something I need to do on my own. Glad to see you're out and about. Ross, please. You must have seen him, man. Had chance to stop. I admit. Um, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Please don't upset him. Me upset him? He should never have been driving. Yeah, and we've dealt with it. I'm dealing with it. It won't ever happen again. Not going to help my dad, though, is it? That... That man was angry. Well, more upset, y yes. Have I done something? There was a crash. A car crash. It was foggy. There was a bridge. Someone there. Let's talk about this later. Was anybody hurt? Nothing was your fault. Come on. Why couldn't you?
you get your own man? Why did you have to sleep with mine? Or oh, was that part of the thrill? Do we really have to do this? Don't flatter yourself. He only went for you because you were the boss's daughter. Still chose her over you. Oh, stay out of this, Lucky. It's my fault for hiring Robert in the first place. I should have slammed the door in his arrogant face. You poor tragic loser. Settling for sex with someone who is blatantly using you. I mean, do you have no self-respect? I didn't settle for anything. It was fun. <laughs> Remember that? You have no morals at all. He had a better time with me. I'm your sister! Are you? Because that's not what I heard. Laura, thanks for speaking up for me about that. I wouldn't have needed to if you'd have shown the speeding ticket straight off. Yeah, well, coppers wind me up. You don't say. Pushing an injured man off a bridge isn't really your style. Well, I wouldn't have wished that on the block. I'm sorry. I'd tell it to Emma. I don't need sympathy or anything else from you. OK. Sorry I bothered. Then don't. Go if you're going. We're all better off without you. You can take this as an official goodbye. Babe, you're missing out on all the free champagne. Chris has bought half a dozen bottles, deluded mare. So it's to come back in, is it? Yeah, Chaz has seen him off. Giving a good practice for when she goes solo. to hear it from Robert. Do you know how that felt? <laughs> you found out you weren't Dad's and you never thought it might be slightly relevant. It doesn't make a difference. He's still my granddad. Oh, shut up! You were saying that when you shot him. You're framing a boyfriend, that was classy. Uh, we were protecting Lucky, you must understand. Well, like you've been protecting your reputation all these years. Yeah, Rob told me about Ronnie as well. You're gay and everyone knows except me. Everyone doesn't know it and for your information, I'm not gay. You're such hypocrites! All of you. I sat with your boyfriend. Big deal. But you had all this stuff going down and you never said a word. Even when Dad could have died, you still shut me out. Well, I didn't want to worry you. Liar! If you knew how I beat myself up about Robert. OK, OK, I'm sorry. That's enough. We all need to sit down as a family. It's too late for that. I had to use my initiative. I already took a DNA sample off you. That was quick. Yeah, I um, couldn't really face it. We said we'd come with you. Where's Finn? He's gone for a drive somewhere. Well, the police rang. Kane's in the clear. I think he was nowhere near the accident. Right. Well, at least we can get on with planning the funeral then. Well, they still haven't said they released the body. But they can't keep. He's dead. We need to lay him to rest. Not until we find out how he died first, Mum. We know how he died. We were there in the hospital. I was holding his hand. Now he's stuck in some mortuary. Waiting. And he won't rest until we get justice for him. Free champagne, I still want to slap those hard-faced coppers. They've got nothing on me, relax. Oh, come on, don't it wind you up, though? Any slight sniff of any wrongdoing and the filth are straight round here, aren't they? They only came because Ross dropped me in it. Oh, well, if it hadn't been Ross, it'd be some other sneaky little weasel. I'm just so sick of it. So let's go. We are. Can't go quick enough. No, give me a day to get it sorted and we'll go. There's nothing to keep us here, is there? Chaz will be minding this place, and I hate long goodbyes. 
I love the fact you can still surprise me. Yeah, all right. Let's get the hell out of here. Done. Wish I'd never opened my mouth now. I should have known she wouldn't have come here for no reason. <laughs> or for a DNA test. I'm so over it now. Does it even matter? Oh, it matters, believe me. If she's Dad's blood and we're not. He's not gonna ditch us because of it. The granddad lives with us, where's she? We live with him, actually. Now, you just wait till she gets in his ear, starts sliming around him, edging us out. Why would she? Because it's what she's wanted since she was five years old. She hates that I'm older than her and I get everything first. She's got classic hard done by little sister complex. So we just have to hope he's not a dad either. Well, don't panic, Lucky. Andy crossed me and look where he is now. Thailand's famed spear fishers, the sea gypsies, take on a formidable foe, free diving on the sea floor next. It's fishing impossible. We'll see about that. And so much to discuss in the unpredictable world of British politics. Tom Bradby has a special edition of The Agenda at eight. Thank you.